Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the best Codeforces tools to improve your experience and efficiency. So I already made one video like this back in 2020, a year back, called Codeforces must have tools. But since then a lot of new tools have been released and I also missed some tools in that so I decided to make a newer version of that video. And you can check this video out as well and let's get started. So first up we have Arugo which is a website that provides virtual rating while practicing on a problem set. So it's pretty recent, you can see that the blog was made 8 days ago and also I will give you the link to all these blogs in the description, from there you can read them, install them and check them out for yourself. Okay, so first up I have Arugo which like I said is a website that provides virtual rating while practicing on a problem set. So the idea is that you'll have a rating graph like the one you get in code forces, it will be like a progress chart and it will be solely based on the problems that you solve. So for each problem, you'll be given a window of 80 minutes to solve it. And if you solve it in time, you'll get a rating. And if you're unable to solve it, you'll lose your rating. So it's pretty motivational and you don't have to like take part in contests to see your rating. You can just, you know, solve a lot of problems and see your rating improve, your progress improve. And it's really, really motivational. So again, it's a great website and you can check them out. I'll give you the link of the blog in the description. So the website looks something like this. I've already made one account, but I cannot remember the credentials. But yeah, you can just check them, check it out and see for yourself. Okay. Next up, I have a tool, Computer Programming, made by Omar Hafez. So the name of the tool itself is Computer Programming, Computer underscore Programming. So it's basically a tool and it provides several features which saves you a ton of time. How's that? So in this tool, you can run your code, you can test your code for test cases. So it'll bring you the code, it'll bring you the test cases of the problem automatically. And from there you can, you know, run your code in the tool. You can see the test cases, you can see whether your code is being accepted, rejected or whatever is the case. So it saves you the hassle of going to Codeforces, then back to your compiler, then again to Codeforces, then to your compiler. So all that to and fro, it saves you the time of all that. So you can do everything in the tool. You can even submit your solution. So when you can see that your test cases are being passed, you can submit your solution from the tool itself. So that again is very, very like useful and it saves you a bunch of time. It saves you solutions and it has a great colorful output section. Well, the aesthetics don't matter that much, but the fact that it saves you a lot of time is really, really helpful. So you can install it on Linux and Windows. I'll give you the link of the blog and I have it installed on Linux but I'm on Windows right now and you can install it on both. Again, this is also pretty recent. Like I think it was released a couple of months ago by Omar Hafez. So I'll give you the link and you can check it out. Again, it's a great tool. Okay, next up we have Code Blast in which you can upsolve with friends. So it's like a fun little tool for, you know, a fun activity with friends. <laughs> if you want to take part in a contest with just you, and your friends then you can use code blast so code blast looks something like this the website is very very beautiful it's been very beautifully designed and well basically you can select the number of boogaboos boogaboos means problems don't ask me it's a <laughs> long story yeah so you can select the number of problems you can select the difficulty level you want those problems to have you can select the number of duration like the number of minutes or the duration of the contest and you can create a contest between you and your friends so it'll be like a proper contest you can see the leaderboard you can see uh, who's on top you can see the ranking and like i said it's a fun little activity and it's a fun tool okay and also it's um, motivational you know it's motivational so it'll help you solve problems because you're doing up solving with friends okay next up we have contest reminder contest is with a k so it's a simple tool but it's very useful because sometimes when we have so many websites so many computer programming websites it's easy to forget right so you need one or two reminder so this is the one i've chosen contest reminder so it's pretty simple i'll give you the link and it has a download link in chrome so you can use it as a chrome extension and it's going to show you all the web all the upcoming contests on your chrome itself okay next up i have upsolve.me so i missed it last time and it's weird because you know i used it in the I used it in the thumbnail and I was going to use it but I forgot while I was making the video. I also put it in the comment of this video but yeah, let me show you this in right now. So Upsolve.me 
is a great website for absorbing. So it was made with the sole purpose of absorbing. <laughs> the name actually means that, right? So the website looks something like this. So you can just put your handle in and it will recommend you problems to absolve from the past contest. Yeah, and the link given in the blog is not working. This link is not really working. So I had to scroll down in the comments and find absolve.netlify.app. Yeah, so you have to use this one to access it. And it just gives you absolve problems to absolve from the past contest that you missed. And it suggests you practice problems based on your rating graph. So you have to like put your handle in. I've already entered my handle. And from there, it's going to suggest you problems to solve from your past contest. And randomly, it's also going to suggest you practice problem based on your previous like submissions. Okay. And the last one, I have the lockout bot. So lockout bot, I completely missed in my last video. It's also pretty old, like uh, it's more than a year old. So. I'm pretty sure you have seen Galen Collin versus Second Threads lockout match by now. I guess everyone has seen it. So it's quite simple. It's similar to Code Blast, but it's 1v1. So you can challenge your friend in a 1v1 contest. So it'll be just the two of you and you'll be given some problems that you have to solve. And it you have you need to have a Discord. Like you need to have a Discord ID. You can just go to the website discord.com and the person that you're challenging, they also need to be on Discord. So it's pretty simple and you can either invite the bot to your discord or you can just join their server so their server looks something like this and there they have a how to use where it's gonna show you how you can use it you have to link your code forces handle with your discord id and you have to invite you have to invite the person and then you have to challenge them and that person has to accept your challenge and when that person accepts your challenge then you can just you know have a proper lockout championship or lockout contest between you and your friend and it's going to show you updates like who's winning who won at the end and things like that so again it's pretty motivational in case you want to win against someone or in case you want to like you know challenge someone it's pretty it's a great thing so that's it guys i'll give you the link for all of these blogs in the description you can read them and check them out and that's it guys thanks for watching